So, you click the link, you're ready to get your heart broken. Sorry friends, that's the nature of boxing. Sometimes you bet on one and he loses. But everyone's got a puncher's chance. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the two kingpins of boxing for the Meta Quest 2 and put them head to head. This is the thrill of the fight versus Creed Rise to Glory. Let's go. I wanna start by acknowledging the thrill of the fight community who love to interject Thrill of the Fight at every chance possible. Hey, have you guys played Supernatural? No, Thrill of the Fight is better. Why would you play anything but Thrill of the Fight? Hey, Beat Saber's got a really nice workout. <laughs> thrill of the Fight though beats everything. Did you see what's happening in Ukraine? Oh my God, guys, it's so sad. No, you can't tell what's going on in Ukraine. Only Thrill of the Fight is the only thing that matters. That's all I have. Let me have this. <laughs> Needless to say, you're gonna have your opinions on both of these games. As am I, and again, that's kind of why you're here. Your opinion may differ from mine, and that is okay. We can still be friends. In fact, you can add me, Bear Trapper Keeper. I'll be your friend. So I'm gonna do what I do best and piss a lot of people off with this video. I'll also be putting timestamps down at the bottom, so feel free to jump around this video and rob me of my precious watch time. Or be awesome and watch the whole thing. So let's start with mechanics. Thrill the Fight is kind of a free-for-all when it comes to boxing. You don't really need any true boxing skill, however it does help. My problem with Thrill the Fight is it does reinforce bad habits, especially if you get used to spamming and cheating your way through boxing, even if it wasn't intentional. From what I've seen on others from uh, the YouTubes, there's a lot of people that just kind of swing like crazy. But again, there's a lot of creators out there who are former or professional boxers that do play this game, and it's pretty fun to watch them actually interact with the game because they do keep the technique. It's not very technique driven, however, if you get hit in the face a few times, you're gonna put your hands up. So remember, this is a boxing simulator, so it's gonna do what it can with what you're giving it. There's a pretty good video from a channel called VR Fitness, I think, where he goes through different stances of fighting to see which one works best for Thrill of the Fight. And I'm gonna put a link to that down in the description. But mechanics can be pretty deceiving here because a lot of people think that Thrill of the Fight is the more realistic one. Mainly because Creed has a forced exhaustion where if you punch too many times or too hard, your fighter gets exhausted and you can't do as much. And in my opinion, this actually makes a lot of sense, even if it frustrates you. In a real fight, you can't punch like you can in Thrill of the Fight, where it's just non-stop. You're shadow boxing and you're not actually hitting something. When you're actually hitting something, you get tired really quick. And when you're getting hit, you get tired even quicker. There's a great Mike Tyson quote that I wanna share with you right now. So even though you don't feel tired in real life, the reality is you would be sucking wind if this was a real fight. So this does actually make more sense from a realistic perspective. I've seen it a million times. When I used to fight, there'd be guys that would come into our gym and wanna challenge people right out of the street. They would punch themselves out and then try to leave. <laughs> but that wasn't happening because we'd close the cage and beat the f out of them. They would get winded, they wouldn't know what to do, and they would get their ass handed to them. That's just how it goes. So I do actually have to give the boxing mechanics to Creed. Take it from someone who's actually fought in a cage. The adrenaline, the power, the explosiveness, the resistance of a human body, all add up to an exhausting act. When you take too many shots, your character gets dazed and forces you to line your hands up with circles in order to recover. Take even more damage, and you're sent to the canvas, pumping your arms through a tunnel vision to get back to the ring. This is so creative, it's sickening. Like, who came up with that? That's awesome. Creed represents realistic boxing in ways that those who don't fight may not understand. However, if you're a Thrill fanboy, you're likely gonna disagree with me. <laughs> but now's your chance to change my mind. Go ahead and jump down to the comments and let me know why you think I'm wrong. Or right. You know me, guys. I'm always down to talk. Oh, and while you're down there, if you like this video and are enjoying my content, don't forget to hit the like button down at the bottom, because what that does is it tells YouTube that you like it. Weird, right? And it pushes my video out to other users who also might like it. Oh, so if we didn't already say, that one goes to Creed. Now let's go to the fun factor. We like having fun. We all like having fun, right? Right? But as I state with every versus video that I do, fun is a subjective term. Your fun and my fun might be very different from each other. Some people like to go hang gliding and parachuting. And to that I say, no. 
But my job is to take the most objective look at this as I can when I'm comparing the two. Now looking at them side by side, Crete does have more fun stuff in it. Now you, you might not want fun stuff. You might not want a story, an endurance mode, a challenge mode, a training mode, a montage, or anything like that. You might just want to swing crazy. But in my opinion, I, I always commend games that have a storyline or can make the game more immersive. And this definitely has one. But for me, all of the things that Creed has added to it outside of just boxing in the ring creates a more fun experience. Not only that, but Creed also has player versus player, which Thrill is very much lacking. Because in Creed, once you've played through the story mode, it's kind of hard to go back to once you already know what you're doing. And you can do it in about an hour. But player versus player, that's where the real fun is. Because you can actually fight against other people. I spend most of my mornings beating up British children and shit talking dipshits who couldn't box their way out of a paper bag. So once you've done career mode, you'll likely stick to the endurance matches and PvP. However, the PvP servers can get a little wonky, and there's some days where they're completely full and you can't get a match. There's other days where you're waiting for five minutes to get a match and nobody's on. And then there's other days where you just get booted off it completely. It's not perfect, but it's there and you can get a workout from it. You'll run into the occasional cheater and spammer. There's ways around it. I'm gonna actually make a video in the future. When it exists, it'll be right here and you can click it. If, it, if I haven't made it yet, I'm, I'm, I'm just pointing at nothing though, okay, so. So fun factor for me goes to Creed. Music. Now I always add this one even if a game doesn't have music and something else does. However, in this instance, Creed has music and the music is great. Thrill of the Fight doesn't have music. It does have like audience and background noises and stuff like that. However, Creed utilizes a very deep soundtrack of all of the Rocky movies and the Creed movies to create an experience that's like being in a Creed or Rocky movie. And they definitely fit the game since they literally come from the source that the game was made from. And if the music wasn't in it, it would be really stupid. So this one goes to Creed. Graphics. Both of these games are super polished. They're even better if you're playing with a PC version. I'm not, because I'm broke. Now, neither of these games has poor graphics. They're both really good, but Creed is so polished. The animations, the look of the fighters, and the fact that you actually have a body when you look down are all contributing factors to give Creed the upper hand here. In Throw the Fight, you don't have arms. You're just a floating headgear and gloves. And for me, that kind of pulls me out of the immersion. For Creed, the animations of the characters in story mode are awesome and actually really fun to watch when you're playing. You really lose yourself in it. And it just nails the likenesses of your favorite fighters like Ivan Drago and Apollo Creed and Mr. T. I won't call him Clubber Lang, his name is Mr. T. However, I'm very upset that Tommy the Machine Gun is not in this game. Rocky V is legit and anyone who thinks otherwise can meet me down in the comments or in the ring in PvP. Now we come to training peripherals. Both of these games have training tools to help you prepare for the fight. Thrill has an assortment of bags and things to hit, as does Creed, but here's why Creed takes the championship belt yet again. Now Creed takes these seemingly boring tools that you likely don't use in Thrill of the Fight and turns them into a fun challenge. If you do the montage mode, you cycle through various pieces of equipment to get the best time and accuracy. If you do it in the gym, you're challenging yourself to leaderboards and friends and something that gets progressively more difficult. You can also do it while you wait for PvP matches, however, they don't always last very long if you're waiting a short period of time. When you use these trending tools in Thrill of the Fight, you'll see that there's some metrics off to the side, however, they're not very useful unless you care about like your hand speed and stuff like that, which I don't. It's nothing all that special or useful or even that fun. You can also use the spooky characters for a little extra challenge where you can't do headshots, your ghost guy phases in and out. However, those to me are more frustrating than anything else and I don't really care for them. Creed really nails the point of having these training tools. Nobody wants to just sit there and hit a pretend heavy bag. There's really no point. It's a big win for Creed here, taking something dull and making it fun and adding to a good workout. Now we come to workout results. If you've watched the video from the start, you're likely thinking this has been a pretty lopsided fight so far. And if you've skipped ahead to this part from the beginning, how dare you? How dare you cheat me out of my watch time? How double dare you? Anyway, the workouts here are actually very different despite them both being boxing games. They both fall into the hit category, which is high intensity interval training. Your heart goes up, it comes back down. It goes up, it comes back down. 
that's all hit is. Creed has a lot of downtime if you're playing the career mode, but you can pick up the pace a lot more in endurance mode where the rounds don't just end when you knock someone down. But even if you're playing that, you'll likely knock your opponent down more often than you would in Thrill of the Fight. Thrill of the Fight is a lot harder to knock your opponent down. Depending on what your modifiers are for Thrill, you'll only have a few minutes of downtime and a minute between rounds. And the times you knock your opponent down, which is few and far between, it takes a lot of time to put your opponent away. And it doesn't take long for them to get up. This is why it's so taxing on your body. Creed, on the other hand, gets your heart rate up, and then back down, and then back up, and then back down, but it does it in shorter bursts. Throw the fight, takes your body, throws it into a wood chipper, sets the pieces on fire, and then pisses on them afterwards. It really is a hardcore workout. The only game that I can think of that maybe gets you a better workout than Throw the Fight is VR Workout, but it cheats because it has burpees and burpees. Nobody likes burpees, and if you do, you're a fing liar. So this solitary victory goes to Thrill of the Fight. So we've reached the end here, and I know what you're probably thinking. Holy shit, that was a one-sided victory for Creed. It was a veritable Apollo Creed versus Ivan Drago. No spoilers here, but if you haven't seen Rocky IV, what the fuck? Why are you even here? Go out and watch Rocky IV. Jesus Christ. The reality is, Creed Rise to Glory is a better overall game than Thrill the Fight. It utilizes realistic mechanics, fun game modes, and clever training tools in order to get you a more well-rounded boxing experience. By no means am I saying Thrill of the Fight is a bad game. I love it, I play it often. So let's not get that twisted. However, when we put these two games to the test, Creed is better. But what if we took Thrill of the Fight and put it against Supernatural's boxing? Well, would you look at that? I actually made a video about it right here. My name is Ari with Fit Pro VR, and don't forget to get your workout in today.